What's up guys, it is Will here, back again, and today we're here to talk about two unexpected kind of announcements, exclusive announcements, we really don't know, but we're gonna talk about it nonetheless. And I wanna start with my boy, because Hot Toys last night uh, put out a Wenwu teaser for a Rebel Base exclusive, uh, seemingly of Wenwu in the suit from when he goes to the mobster sort of hideout to seek revenge for what happens to him and his family. So that is a pretty amazing scene. This is Tony Leung in a suit. All we really know are the rings are there and the wrist seams are there. That's all we really know. And he's in a suit. So um, it's pretty cool looking. We really don't know whether it's going to be a true exclusive. Like you really can only get this at Rebel Base. Like is Sideshow going to get any? Or any Hong Kong reseller is going to get any? Is anyone going to get any besides the people who live nearby? We don't really know. We don't know how many are going to be made. However, it is worth mentioning that if you love Wen Wu, this could be a consideration for you. Because Hot Toys, they're marketing it as the wielder of the mystical rings, who is more determined than ever to seek power, who will come to conquer your display. That said, we don't really know how this figure really looks yet, but I still wanted to talk about it because I'm really, I, I just love Wen Wu. I'm a really big fan of Shang-Chi as a film. I'm a really big fan of Shang-Chi as a character and Wen Wu as a character. I was hoping they would give us the Mandarin outfit from the first scene in the film when he just like literally destroys like an entire army with the rings really wanted to see that however didn't quite happen so maybe one day it will but for now we're going to get tony leung in a suit if it's an exclusive then um yeah it might be hard to get your hands on but we really don't know we don't have a clear precedent to really be able to determine that because the mark 46 civil war reissue we got that one right stealth suit cap we kind of got that when we got 300 of it it didn't quite go well for sideshow but it, it did exist in the states and the mark 5 with road base still don't have that one up for pre-order so we really don't know we have a very muddy sort of precedent line here in terms of exclusives coming to the states so we really don't know for people outside the united states we don't either maybe this is one you have to pick up through a hong kong reseller if you want it however i will say for myself i'm very interested i really i'm guaranteed getting the wen Wu from the shang chi film unless they destroy that beautiful head sculpt which i highly highly doubt i can only imagine this one's going to come with the same head sculpt but just going to be a different outfit um probably minimal accessories i would think maybe a table or something that he can punch through you can pose him or something but other than that yeah it looks pretty good i mean i'm not in love with the wrist seams um i, I feel like there's a way for hot toys to have fixed that you know get, you could very easily give a swappable forearm here i would think uh you wouldn't be able to articulate the wrist but why would you really need to um I think it would be fine. Just give a couple swappable, maybe wrist, uh, forearm joints, kind of like Inart has done, and call it a day. Then you don't have that unsightly wrist joint there. I mean, not the end of the world, but it, just a little bit of lazy stuff right there, I feel like. just it, It's a little bit better to just like put a little bit of extra effort in and just like, you know, give us something a little bit higher tier that Hot Toys is known for. So nonetheless, it still looks great. And uh, it's not the end of the world. So again, I think sometimes in, in life and in, hob in this hobby in particular, it's like well um it can be all or nothing right it can be one of those situations where you're like well if you if you don't like it then just don't buy it all together well i'm not saying i don't like the figure at all i'm just saying i don't like one aspect of the figure and yes if i'm purchasing it you know possibly then i'm, I'm still supporting that behavior but still at the end of the day i have to make that determination do i value uh making a stand and losing out on a figure that i probably want or or s sending a, a message you know about you know i'm not going to accept this basically so but other people are going to buy it and i still kind of want it so to me as long as the head sculpt looks good i'm definitely interested in this will i get it maybe i don't know if i need two wen woos but i would definitely be tempted um especially if it comes out looking good in the suit so yeah man really like this a lot because i really just love wen woo as a character and i don't know he's just a badass bro he's one of the best villains marvel's ever had one of the most complex villains marvel has ever had with that said let's talk about another figure too because hot to his tease this Spider-Man here, it's the epic reunion, reunion we've all been waiting for. Get your Spidey sense tingling with our most anticipated figures. So we got Spidey on the rooftop here at the end of No Way Home. This is the new final suit. It very much screams classic suit Spider-Man from what I have seen. And uh, I love for one, the arc that Tom Holland's Peter Parker undergoes in this film. He becomes a man, Spider-Man, no longer Spider-Boy. He's Spider-Man at the end of this film. He's uh, paid his dues, so to speak. And this suit is beautiful. From what you could see of it in the dark, it's just a great scene. And it's just a really cool looking suit. So for me, I would be very tempted by this one. I only have one Spider-Man in my collection currently. It's the movie tech uh, promo, or movie promo, sorry, the tech suit version from Civil War and from Far From Home. Um, but it was uh, in, what's the, what's the second one? Um, 
Yeah, Far From Home. Yeah, yeah. It was in Homecoming. The suit was originally in Homecoming and uh, and Civil War, and it's in the Far From Home movie promo line. Nonetheless, great tech suit. First Spider-Man suit. It's my favorite of the Tom Holland set, but this one is very close to that. I really like them all. They're all pretty great, honestly. But this one, man, is really, really cool. And I think there's going to be a lot of excitement for this one, much more so than Wen Wu, because most people, most people are probably just going to pick up the one Wen Wu or no Wen Wu at all. But... Um, I'm a little more excited for the Wen Wu, but this is fantastic, bro. And it's funny. I told Riley, I was like, bro, I know you're up late and I know you live in California. So you're three hours behind me and I go to bed a little bit earlier than you. I was like, if Shang-Chi and Wen Wu release, you call me and you wake me up. So he messaged me. He didn't wake me up, but he called. He, he didn't call me, but he messaged me and he was just like, well, should I, should I, is this a wake up worthy? Cause Wen Wu's kind of releasing. And I was like, nah, I didn't wake up from it, but it's probably not. So Riley uses best judgment there. But guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this one Wu and this Spider-Man. Really interested to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm. Uh, I, it's not, I guess, like the most exciting announcements as far as the Wen Wu, but I'm, I'm still looking forward to it. I, I, you know, if I had to pick one, I'd still pick the, the typical Wen Wu. Nonetheless, the Spider-Man's pretty cool. I want to hear what you guys think. That said, peace out, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Bye. See you. Bye.